Welcome back to Behind the Scenes here in the Creepy Crawler's Garage. This week we talk about updates to the airbags, the shop getting organized, we dig in in the mailbag, and much more. The last few weeks have been pretty tough on the guys here in the shop. Between the RC four-wheel drive build-off project, the Blazer body, the highway, getting the Highway 1 crawler ready for Crawl for a Cure, yeah, we were all a bit worn out. So I gave the guys some, some needed time off. But that doesn't mean the shop's been closed. So let's go ahead and go behind the scenes, take a look at what's been going on the last week. With everything going on the last few weeks, the shop's become a huge mess. And not only that, it's actually become very disorganized. And in fact, even before the last few eight weeks, it's been very disorganized, which has really become a problem. And one example is with the RC four wheel drive uh, build off project, I ended up buying uh, roughly two or $300 worth of axles just to realize stuffed away where I couldn't find them. I, I actually had axles that would work and pretty much work perfectly for the project. And this wasn't just something written in the script. This is actually true. Uh, I bought two sets of axles, one for a, a semi truck and you know a set of axles that are usually used on a semi truck and a set of axles off of a 18th scale i think it was um before realizing and honestly realizing digging through stuff and going oh i let me just try these axles that i have laying around from a from a ecx uh truck i bought a long time ago um and they actually worked perfect the problem was they weren't readily for, there for me to find in the shop. So this is something we've got to get fixed and that's what I've started doing, starting with my screws. So I've actually uh, went out and bought a bunch of bins and I'm trying to organize everything by uh, size, so M3s, M2s, M4s, that kind of thing, and then button heads, flat heads, socket heads, self-tapping. Um, I'm trying to get real organized so this problem never happens again. I ended up spending a good 300 bucks on these axles and they're really not needed. Now maybe I'll use them in a future project, I don't know, but they weren't needed for the project I, I, I was looking for them for. And that's a problem to me. That's not only is that time, that's money, because I had to order them, wait for them to come in, then see if they would work. They didn't work, I had to order another set, wait the time. So it cost me money and time on that project. And I don't want that to happen again. So this shop has got to get uh, got to get organized. So we're still working on the airbags here in the shop also. It's an ongoing project. I know I talk about it a lot, but it's a big part of the time that's going on here in the shop. Um, so I'm actually completely redesigning them again. Um, so this will be the second time to be redesigned. Now, the first time I redesigned them, it was for a mechanical or a functional reason to actually make them work. This time it's for cosmetic reasons. So I want to uh, make them look better so that they could hopefully become a commercial product. Um, so they're going to get a total redesign. Uh, keep you guys updated. Obviously, the the, re, the new redesigned bags will be going into the what used to be known as the RC four wheel drive build off project. Um, need to come up with a new name for that, by the way. If you guys have any ideas for a good name for this project, a, a, an updated name for the RC four wheel drive build off project project, uh, leave me a comment down below. I, it really doesn't need a new name, but the new updated, uh, cos more cosmetically pleasing, I guess you would say, airbags are going to be going in, into that project and then hopefully be made available to you guys if it's something that you want to do. Now, you, uh, my patrons out there, stay patient. You're going to be getting yours too. You're getting sets of four, the people that, uh, that qualify to, to, to get them. Um, you're going to actually be getting the original uh, prototype set. The one, they function just fine. They're just not going to be as pretty. Um, I don't want to make you wait any longer on waiting for the, the redesigned ones. So I'm going to be sending those out to you. Uh, remember, do something with them, take a picture because the last, or actually the current, um, I made something project we're working on, that's what you can win. Um, so by, by doing this over at the Patreon page, you're eligible to, uh, and basically just, let me just give you more specifics, I guess. You're just gonna be, po do something with those bags. I don't care, yeah, hold up your coffee table, table with them. I don't, whatever you do with them, just take a picture of it, post it, you're gonna be posting it over at the Patreon page, and then uh, there's gonna be a contest around that, which I'll give you more specifics, uh, which means you can win the, the six by six that is, uh, that we're doing in the I Made Something, the I Made Something project, um, which is the, the little toy grade six by six that I kind of painted up and whatnot. That's gonna be the prize. Now, we have to do it as a contest. In other words, I can't just do a raffle or, or a giveaway. According to Patreon rules, it has to actually be some kind of competition. It can be literally, literally as simple as 
the first person to post or something to that effect. Um, but it has to be some kind of contest. I can't just draw a, hat, a name out of a hat. Um, so that's why we're doing it this way and I wanted to try to make it somewhat creative and get you guys involved. Anyway, so those bags are gonna be coming to you soon. Uh, working on them now, I just wanna get them all done and ship them all at the same time so everybody receives them at the same time so nobody gets any kind of advantages uh, when the rules of the contest come out. Anyway, stay tuned for that. So even with all the time off I'm giving the guys, we're still staying really busy, but not too busy to take a look at what's going on in the latest news. This week in latest news, I wanted to quickly talk about Crawl for a Cure. If you watched our last episode of Shop Jobs, you saw that we had to do some touch-up work to the Highway 1 crawler because it's going out to Crawl for a Cure. So I wanna just give some quick information on that because it sounds like a pretty good uh, event going on. And so I wanted to give you guys the information. So it's Crawl for a Cure, it's October 5th, which I believe is this Saturday. Uh, it's over at, let me make sure I get this name right. Uh, it's at Bear River Lake, resort campgrounds. So that's Bear River Lake Resort Campgrounds. Um, if you're in that area, definitely go check it out. Um, the Highway 1 crawler is going to be there. You can see it in person. And hey, if nothing else, just go say hi to the Highway 1 RC guys. This week we got two things in the mailbag, so I want to make sure and showcase both of them. First of them being, I got some stickers in from Steve O.D. from the 313. I'm sure all you guys know him. If you don't know him, make sure and go check out his channel. He's actually got a lot of cool stuff going over there. So that's a Steve O.D. from the 313. Also this week in the mailbag, I got a really cool package from Travis RC Adventures. So I'll make sure and share it with you guys and also give that big shout out to Travis RC Adventures. I really appreciate it, thank you. First off in the package, he sent over some scale and some 3D printed items. Starting with a set of jumper cables that are really cool, a jumper box, a Coleman cooler. Now he also sent a little care package for for uh, for Frank, um, which has some uh, uh, some really neat stuff like a uh, like a canteen that I'm sure Frank will love on the hot days, so he can just carry his water around with him. Uh, he's got him a little set of dog tags, and then of course uh, a hat, which some of you've probably already seen if you check the community tabs on the YouTube channel. You see Frank sporting his new hat. Now what does concern me is in this little pouch, he also sent over uh, what looks to be a knife and even worse, some nunchucks. Um, this could be really dangerous around the shop and definitely dangerous for, uh, for Frank's health. But hey, Travis RC Adventures, you sent them to him, so I guess I'm gonna give them to him. Now what he also sent me, which was actually the main part of the package that we had talked about in the past, was some cleaning supplies or some rejuvenating supplies for the Range Rover. So as you guys remember, I've got a series coming out where it's me working on my one-to-one, -one, which I'm working on the Range Rover, which has some a little bit of weathering where from sitting out in the sun and he sent me some product um, that he used to use back in the day that he said will take care of some of the issues I have. Now I've got basically a, a spray bottle of some kind of solution. Uh, I've got a uh, another little squeeze bottle of a solution here um, that I guess maybe the two go together. I, I'm not sure. And then I've got what appears to be, I think they're brushes. So two, two brushes, but they look to be very very specific brushes for something. Um, Travis RC Avengers, if you're out there, let me know what all this, how the, all this stuff works. Uh, we'll get together and figure it out. But look for this being used coming up in uh, the future, working on the one-to-one -one episodes. I just wanna say a big thank you to Steve OD from the 313 and to Travis RC Adventures. I really appreciate you guys sending me whatever items like your channel stickers. If you have channel stickers that you want me to show on, the, uh, on one of these episodes, go ahead and send them to me. I'll send you some of mine right back. And the PO box is down in the description. Just send it to that PO box. I'll make sure and check my PO box. I'm gonna try checking it more regularly. Um, and then also make sure and have a return address so I can send you some of my own channel stickers right back to you. Thank you for joining me this week. And as I always say, thanks for listening to me ramble about nothing, but I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, leave me a like, and leave me a comment down below. I enjoy hearing what you guys have to say about anything, anything in the RC world, anything in the automotive world, let me know down below and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.